back to the Guptill's Flea Market, late September here. We're early, but not a lot of vendors, but people are still coming. We'll have to see what's going on. I mean, there's multiple people that aren't set up yet, too. Board games? Board games? That was earlier this year. No, different people. Okay. How you doing? Good, how you guys doing? Not too bad. Did you bring anything specific? Ah, older toys and video games, but a little bit of everything. You didn't bring them. These are so new. I just got that. No, no, that's no. Everybody's got 90 listed, 20 sold. Oh, yikes. I don't even think those would be good. Pan Goots. Vintage Old Spice. Oh. We're already late, my dude. Those guys just walked by talking about buying GoBots and Transformers and stuff. <laughs> already late on the good stuff. Okay. Not looking great. What you guys asking on games? Game shop. Uh, these are five bucks each, and this one's four. Mm. I'm gonna pass for now. Thanks. This is all the stuff we looked at last year, though. Early, early. Remember, it's got no weapons. It's all the same stuff. All the same overpriced stuff. Yeah. Guys, you can't pay five dollars a piece for a figure with no weapons. Battle bots. What do you get? Oh, that's about. Cool. What did I have on First it? Uh, price was scratched off. I'm not sure. That's 60 on it. Uh, do uh, a half price, 30 bucks. Half price day. I like it. Ten bucks. I got ten bucks here. That, that price tag's not valid on that. Oh, so how much? It's a picking price, man. You, you're digging through our shit before we can present it. All right. Uh, I like the picking price, unfortunately. Wrappers <laughs> in perfect shape. Oh, perfect shape. Besides the cup. Oh, you clean that up? That. You clean that's that up? Bottom line. Yeah. That's us making five dollars on it. That's good. That's good. That and the green one for 30. No, they're 25 for both. 25 for both. I mean, it doesn't have the back, does it? I don't know. Did it have the back to it? You'll find the back at the next one, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, about, it's about the hunt. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
about 20 on that. That. 20 on that? That's coming in. Well, this with that 20. I said 25 to start. No, not with that. I, I know it's where. Yeah. I know it's a big Yeah. 20. 22. Yeah. Max. What did you want for both? What did you say? 25. 25. Yeah. With the game? 25? 26. 26. 26. How we doing? Doing good, you? Good. I haven't really gone through any of this yet, so I can't nice. really give you a price. Because I'm interested in that. Okay. Well, all the toys really. Right now, I know I'm, there's all five figures of these. Cool. I want 50 bucks for at least these. Because I know they're going for $100 on eBay. Can I see? Yep. Quality? There's all of them. They're all in here. So I know Voltron, if he was complete. Yeah. And yeah. then I also know there's also some vintage Transformers, Transformers yeah. and some other. And the Silver Surfer, or whatever Poor, he is. poor Voltron. Yeah, Voltron is a oh. pieces and parts and yeah. parted out for something else. I gave him on the, I said 25 on the controllers. A lot of parts and pieces. And then there's these, I don't know, these are kind of some, yeah, some kind of transformer, whatever, from the back of the day. I said, those I'm, I'm not letting go for less than 50, because I know, I haven't, I, I really wasn't planning on bringing it, but it got thrown in the car. Right. <laughs> and so here I am. But I had looked, the reason I bought it is because I knew these guys were going. Yeah. There. Three bids at 75. Yeah, three bids. So I, I know they're $100. I've seen yeah. them sell for over $100. So these guys, I ain't letting go for less than 50. This guy, if he's complete, Voltron, he's. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. But this he, is it's part, a part one. Part. You're this take is that all part. You know, yeah. yeah. So one arm. That's another yeah. maybe 75 for him. Oh, no. And then all this other stuff here. These are, I know there's some good ones in here, and there's, I'm thinking another 50 for this box. And that's, about, and this is, I know this guy here, I looked him up. One in here too, that's another like bad guy. 12 bucks, eight bucks. And then there's the, you know, the one Star Wars guy. Where's the other bad guy that's in here? He's looking at like 200 for everything, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much 200 for everything. Not then it's all broken. I know there's just other bad guys around here somewhere. It's like I said, unless he sat on the couch and right. Yeah, so like I said, I know there's some one of these transformers are you know I don't even know what the hell these things are, these little wrestling. What you got? What you want? I, uh, these are the action figures I think I want. These are what I think I want, everybody. I definitely like the gargoyle stuff. Those two are cool. They're not the greatest ones. Obviously, they're not the gargoyles. But I do like them. The penguin is pretty nice. It's actually, I think, the cleanest one. And Toe Jam and Earl action figure would be worth more. It's just a little dirty. Yeah, unfortunately the arms are not there. I know, that's that's the that's why I can't pull the trigger. It's just too many parts, I think, for me, unfortunately. Okay. I I would do I would do 150 for this and 20 for these for 170. And I think that's that's honestly the best I could personally do. How about we make it Take two off, take two of these off. I'll do 160. And you know which are the two better two, so I'm letting you take the two better two. Okay, I'll put the gargoyles back. 160. 160. This was not a great flea market buy. Paying 260, I definitely overdid it. 
when I was debating and deliberating over these toys, they took the chunk of my budget at 160 and really put me behind for the rest of the day. I was behind other pickers to pick what I pick. And because I was messing with these toys, the guy that was looking over my shoulder who would have bought these if I walked away, moved on and bought a whole box of N64 and Atari games. And that just, just got me, what, like, what am I doing? I need to just buy what I know will work. Yes, I did look it up and some of these figures here could sell for like $100 is a lot. But then there's a lot of five and $10 parts and pieces. It's going to take a while to sell. Maybe the tech decks get me up to about 50 or $60. The Tiki is about 20 bucks. This controller, third party controller here for the switch. If I don't keep it, it can sell for about 30 bucks. If this guy works, he, he somebody customized this to make it a jet. Maybe I'll leave it as a jet and somebody will like it. I even might throw it out of my garage sale for $20. I paid five. The scrapper might get me 60 bucks. Some of these video games I was going to keep myself. Can't find a lot of these trains, only this one around $10. Can't find the other ones. I thought this would have been a better lot for five bucks. Some of these cards are not in great condition or actually got a little damaged in my bag as I was walking around, um, kind of separating down there at the bottom. I still think each one is maybe 20 or $30. The single stitch Harley shirt's really nice with the box, but again, I think I'm only gonna get 20 to $30 for it. So it's a lot of work. For little profit maybe I should have went to garage sales instead this day maybe I should have just moved on quickly and really just look for those few items that I know sell well leave a comment down below let me know where I messed up what shouldn't I bought what did I miss love to hear what you guys think make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next pick